all those cute stickers that you see people use in Instagram stories? Did you know that you can make your own and that you can actually make these in Canva? They don't have to be super complicated. Now you may already know that you can animate things in Canva, but you might be wondering how can I actually turn those animations into stickers that I can then put on places like Instagram or wherever you want to put them. So in this video, I'm gonna share a tutorial on how to make those really fun gift stickers in Canva. All right, so we're going to look at a few different ways that you can make stickers in Canva. So the first part, we wanna get in Canva and create our design. So I've got a few different types that we can look at here. So first of all, I've got one that is a graphic. So we can create a graphic and I've put in two different parts. I've got two different graphics to make up our design. Then I've got one that's just a single graphic, some sort of illustration. Then I've got one that's a photo plus text on it. And I've also got a video to show you sort of the variety of the different kinds of stickers that we can create. All right, so our first graphic, we're going to look at creating a custom animation when we're moving this graphic. So we're going to put it in a starting position. Then we're going to create an animation and make it move. Now you've got to remember to with a sticker that it's going to repeat. So we want it to sort of go back again, back to the start. So that way it will repeat over and over. If we have it end over here, if we have it end somewhere and then just suddenly start back at the start again, that's going to look a bit odd. So you've really got to think about, so you do something like this, about starting it again, about making sure that the end is back where it started. So when that repeats over and over as a sticker, it looks nice and smooth. So we can add our movement. We can choose smooth, it's smoother. And as you can see here, I've also added a bit of wiggle. Maybe we'll put that intensity in so it's not too much wiggle. And we've got a nice little sticker that goes along like that and repeats over. So now we've got our other elements. So you could add things like little sparkles, stars, or the graphic elements, maybe have a color blob behind something, and you can animate that element as well. So we can go to animate for our fish and decide what we want that to do. So we might want it to just pulse there underneath. You may want to do a custom animation where you make it leap out of the water. That's where you can really get creative with a sticker and think about all the different movement you want. But you also don't want to overdo things. A sticker is something very quick and simple. So you don't want to go too overboard. We just want to have a little bit of fun. So obviously you don't want something like that because that's not going to work well as a sticker. It's something that people will just see small and it's going to repeat over and over. So we want to have quite simple animation. So we might just add this wiggle so it looks like the fish is just wiggling there under the boat. So once you've got your animation, you want to click on the page and see edit timing. And this is where you consider how long you want that animation to initially go before it repeats over and over. So we really want to keep that quite short. So we don't want a animation that's too long. So just a few seconds. All right, now for our next animation. So this one is just a single graphic. So we could, for something like this, just choose something as simple as wiggle. Now, when you click on wiggle too, you can also change the intensity. So if you just want a nice slight wiggle or a bigger wiggle, you can decide how you want that to look. And again, we want to look at how long this page goes for. So you may only want it just a few seconds and just repeat over and over. Now with a photo. So you're going to want to make sure that your photo has no background. So if you don't have Pro, you may want to find another background remover somewhere else and import this into Canva. Or if you have Canva Pro, you can use the background remover to get rid of your background. That way you've got a nice cutout image. So we can first think about how we want to animate our actual image. So again, something like Wiggle is nice because it's not too much movement, not too crazy. A sticker, we want to keep our movement quite simple. So with this bit case solved, we might want something that sort of like uh, maybe a stamp, like it's going, yeah, case solved. Uh, um, but we just want it on enter. So it just does case solved like that. Then we've got this bit of text here. Maybe we could do it like a typewriter and just on enter. And think about the speed too. You want something quite quick because the sticker we're going to make it repeat quite quickly. So we've made a fun little sticker like that. And our final sticker is using a video. So for a video, again, you want to remove the background. So what you would probably do is think about what kind of video you want to do, something like you pointing or excited, different things like that that you might want to use of yourself and record it on a really plain background. So against a white wall or a, just a single colored wall where you can easily get rid of that background and it's not going to cut out weird. 
So you can see here, just me pointing. And then I've put this text on top so we can also add some animation to this text. Maybe if we make that text just wiggle, put the intensity down. And then we've got a fun little sticker like that that we can also add in Instagram too. So now we've got our actual designs and our animations. So now we've got to turn these into actual stickers. So what you want to do now is go to share, download, and you want to choose GIF. And you want to make sure you tick on transparent background. Now, as you can see, this is a pro feature. So if you don't have pro, download it still and just make sure you have that white background and we can go use another tool to get rid of that background. So I'll show you in a minute how to do that if you don't have Canva Pro. So for now, we're just going to download our GIF. So you want to go through it. So if you do several pages like this of different sticker designs, you want to do that for each one individually. You don't want to download them all as one file. You want to make sure each page is a different file unless you've created some sort of animation where it goes over several pages. Now for a sticker, I can't imagine you would want several pages because we want something quite simple. But if for some reason you do, make sure that you combine those pages. So basically each sticker should just be one file. We don't want to be putting several stickers into one file. All right, so say you don't have Canva Pro and you need to get rid of the background for your GIF. So you want to go to easygif.com then we're going to go to the GIF maker section and you're going to upload the file that you have. That was your GIF that had the white background on it. So I've saved one here where I kept the white background to show you. So going to upload files. So it's going to do this where it brings in basically every slide. So you're just going to leave that as is. And we're just going to check. Yep, that's fine. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we want to make the GIF and it's going to create our GIF here. So the next thing we want to do is look at actually getting rid of that white. So we're going to click on effects here and it's going to bring this up. So what we can do is actually come down here to replace color with transparency and choose white. So then we can say apply selected. Now, of course, this is to assuming that there isn't any white in your actual design. So if you've got a design that maybe is a video and there's bits of white in it, you may want to have a color in the background that's gonna be easier to get rid of. You may even want to use like a, a bright green and then you can use this custom hex thing and get rid of that color that way. So do consider to your actual gift design and what colors are in it and making sure that your background is a color that's gonna be really easy to get rid of and isn't gonna cause problems when you try to remove Remove it and it's going to remove other bits of color in your design. So now we can scroll down as you can see here it's showing us that it's now transparent because it's put it in that gray box so we know that it has worked. So now you can just press save and you're done. You've got rid of that background. So as you can see here, this design that wasn't white in the design. So cutting that out was very easy with white, but do keep in mind if you've got something that's a bit more complex in color, maybe it's a photo or a video, you may want to consider making your background color something that's going to be very starkly different so that it removes that quite nicely. All right, so going to your phone, send those gift stickers to your phone. I like to airdrop them in and put them in an album. Now you're going to click on one. So here's our video one. We're going to click on those three dots at the top and copy. So whatever phone you've got, make sure you... So depending on your phone, make sure you're just copying that image. Then go into Instagram stories, start your story. You just click, click again and paste. And it's going to place your sticker in. And you can use two fingers to resize. You can position it wherever you want. So let's put the rest of them in. So we've got our photo one. So we're going to copy. And again, so as you can see here, sometimes it might not like you just clicking if you've got something in the way. You can just come up to text there and paste it in that way. Now our little boat. And finally, the one that we cut out using easygift.com. As you can see, that cut out quite nicely. And there we go. There are our stickers. So you can create really fun on-brand stickers using Canva. It's really simple and you can create something really custom and on-brand for you to use in Instagram stories. So have fun making stickers like these. If you have any questions, if there's anything you're unsure about how to do, you can leave a comment down below. And of course, if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.